Hey everybody, welcome to the Disc Golf and Bowlers channel. We are a group of professional bowlers and uh, very, very aspiring amateur disc golfers. Um, we thought it'd be great to kind of show our exploits uh, along the way. My name is Noel Vega. I've been a regional professional bowler since 2000. I'm a member of the Storm Amateur Staff and the Many Styles of Bowling Pro Staff. And we thought it'd be great to kind of cover some of our equipment. Uh, we'll also cover some of our exploits in tournaments, both in bowling and in disc golf. And on top of that, we're also hoping to cover uh, our exploits as we learn how to play disc golf uh, from basically scratch. I've taken a couple of lessons. Uh, we'll have my buddy Jeff Mann on from time to time. Uh, he hasn't taken any lessons and yet he already uh, drives me. Um, so it should be a lot of fun. Uh, certainly hope to keep things light. Uh, certainly hope to keep things entertaining for everybody. So in today's video, we're going to be covering uh, the Storm Revenant, one of the uh, new releases by Storm. Uh, it actually dropped today as this video is being made, Friday, uh, January 20th. Compare it to the Phase 5, which is a release from just a couple of months ago. You may remember the Storm Spectre last year. The Revenant is a remake of the Spectre uh, with just a little bit of a different color and a different finish in the Reactive Gloss finish. Uh, this is new for me. I want this to be fun. I want this to be entertaining. I'm going to give you kind of a, a view of what the ball looks like, but I hope to answer questions. So please put in the comments below some of the questions you have. So without further ado, here's the Storm Revenant. All right, so we are here at Strike Force Lanes in Greenfield, Indiana, uh, about 10 days before the US Open. And this is my chance to get a little practice in as well as punch some of uh, some new looks for me. So what I'm gonna do here is start with the phase five, a couple of shots. This is just a house shot, nothing crazy. I'm trying to work on staying the inner half of the ball a little longer so I can project a little bit better. Not really that good. Can't wait to see that on camera, but hopefully I'm editing this for a voiceover. Alright, so we're gonna throw one more shot with the phase five and then we're gonna try this revenant. Now, I haven't touched the surface on this Revenant, haven't done anything to it. Um, I'll show the layout in a second, and I'll get the VLS numbers put up shortly. Going for that rounder shape. And I haven't thrown a shot, so I don't know what to expect. So one more with the Phase 5. Now, I do have about two games in on this pair. It's a little bit chewed up. All right, now here we go. This is gonna be the first shot I've ever thrown with this ball. Now this is the same corn cover as the Spectre, but this is a much uh, lower pin for me. That's about four and three quarters by 70. I had a Spectre last year, it was about five and a quarter. It was a much smaller pin buffer, about a one inch pin buffer up over the ring finger. I have not touched the surface or anything. First shot with this ball. And it's a pretty terrible shot. Wow, okay. I didn't expect that at all. Probably got that like four or five left and uh, it just sat there. So let's uh, try this again. It looks like kind of tight flare rings, which I would expect with that more rounded pin buffer. So we're gonna do the same thing, except this time actually try to get it to that eight, nine, 10 zone to the right that I utterly and completely missed. That's a little closer. Kind of round down lane. Certainly every bit as clean as I expected. First impressions, it looks uh, a little bit weaker in the mid lane than a phase five, which I would have expected. So I'm gonna go about three right, just to see if this will let me stay in a zone right. Let's see what it wants to do here. Well, 
that's left again. It's giving me forgiveness left. I do think I'm going to need to wipe the ball clean here. So let's go, uh, let's go another one right. And watch the speed. And again, let's actually project the ball right. So let's try to keep it on the inner half just a little longer. That's pretty close. And there's that roundness I was talking about with that bigger pin buffer value. All right, so we hit this with a 3,000 pad. It just looked a little bit um, mellow off the spot. I'm not looking for hockey stick, but it's actually got to get to the pocket. So I'm hopeful of that, just knocking that reactor gloss just a little bit. Yeah, that's the motion. That's the motion I'm looking for. Still rounded, which is uh, what I was aiming for with that layout. Um, still clean, as you'd expect from the R3S Pearl. And this one actually wants to keep coming off the corner, whereas with the Reactor Gloss, it was not. And that's not a knock on the polish. Um, I've been knocking polish off of bowling balls since uh, last millennium. So we're gonna try this again. Same spot, just try to get to that like six, seven, eight spot down lane. No, oh, that's getting there. That's the motion I'm looking for. That's definitely it. So, it's a little hard to say because I'm going with a different layout. When I had the Spectre last year, uh, since I know this will be one of those questions, hey, this was the Spectre replacement. When I had the Spectre last year, um, it felt like clean, strong in the mids, but just not quite consistent enough. It just felt like it was um, a little bit quick at times and then you kind of adjust for it and a little bit slower. Now this is a very different layout, but this seems a little truer motion for me. It seems a little rounder motion as you'd expect, but I'm getting the similar look shot to shot. So the mid lane is more consistent, I think. Eh, it's a pretty bad shot. But even there, like I got that, I got around that early, got that about two left at the arrows, maybe about four left down lane. And it didn't overreact its setup, but it was consistent. Let's try again. I'm going to try to get to like that six, seven, eight spot. I'm gonna wait on it just a little bit more than the last few shots. That's close. Yeah, yeah, that's about what I'd expect from that layout. Um, it is a house shot, it's a little bit beat up. Um, I've got some games on it and it wasn't fresh when I got here, but it looks like it doesn't want to overreact off the dry, which that layout shouldn't. Um, it's definitely not hockey stick, but it seems easy to get through the front. So I hate to be that standard staffer that you know, clears the fronts easy and crazy back end. It's not crazy back end. Very controllable. Definitely clean. Um, but it's seen the mid lanes the right way for me. Again, I want to get to that six, seven, eight spot. So I'll try to wait on it just a hair longer than I have been. It's close. Yeah, I got around that a little bit. Kind of got the release over the toe a little but Again, that was forgiving. That was uh, clean. Got going in the middle, but not insane. Um, it, pretty much what I wanted out of that layout. So I can stay a little further right. The phase five, I was probably about four or five left with my feet and about three with the eyes. So this is what I'm hoping to complement that phase five. All right, just gonna blow. This is gonna be another one and one right. Let's just see what happens. Another one left. Yeah, so for a cleaner cover, that's about what I'd expect. That was just not a good shot again. Okay, there we have it for the Storm Revenant. Uh, to me, it was about five and three right, and probably, I'm gonna say, 
two, three feet longer than the Phase 5. Uh, phase 5 is similarly clean, uh, which doesn't really surprise me in that uh, you've got R3S Pearl in the Revenant, R2S Pearl in the Phase 5. Both come uh, with reactor gloss out of the box. So both are going to be similarly clean through the fronts. To me, the Phase 5 was a lot stronger in the middle lane. Um, kind of a skid set kind of reaction. More continuous certainly than a Phase 4, uh, but much stronger overall than the Revenant was for me. Uh, the Revenant to me, I think, was able to stay a lot further right for longer. Uh, was not as dramatic down lane as some of the other skid flip balls tend to be. Uh, compared to the Spectre, I thought that the Revenant was smoother, uh, more controllable, more predictable than the Spectre was. Uh, but you know, bear in mind that the layout was a lot different in my Revenant than it was in my Spectre last year, where I went kind of pin up uh, a shorter uh, pin buffer value. The layout was a lot different than the Spectre last year. Uh, the Spectre I went um, with a slightly uh, weaker pin, so about a five and a quarter pin, uh, pin up, so a shorter pin buffer, which means it's gonna be a lot more responsive to friction than the Revenant would be. Uh, to me, I think the Revenant is gonna fit me a lot better uh, in that I'm looking for that rounder motion. Um, I, a lot of my friends will tell you, I have a lot of trouble staying right, I tend to, see the front part of the lane a lot, um, tend to see the dry a lot. And so I think this is going to be one that's going to blend those out without forcing into crazy angles. Uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing it. Um, if you liked the video, make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below, share it on Facebook, um, spread the word. If we want to get this content out to you, uh, we want to make it fun. Uh, and if you have any questions we didn't address, make sure to put them in the comments down below. Uh, I'll be checking it out and seeing uh, we have answers to whatever questions you might have. Check out the Storm Revenant. should be available in the Pro Shop today. And uh, we'll see you soon. The next video will be the Storm Absolute. And you won't want to miss that. Take care.